Now, the governor's budget does not include as much money as the California State University system is banking on. It increases their funding, but it's about $100 million short of what they say they need. Earlier this week, I sat down with the chancellor of the system, Tim White, as he explained how, in some ways, our state universities are failing tens of thousands of students. Chancellor White, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Chancellor White flew to Sacramento from Southern California for the governor's inauguration and to begin lobbying the state for more money. This is a real a difficult moment for public policy. Here's the problem. California students are promised that if they get good grades, stay in school, and earn their associate degree at a community college, there's a place for them at an affordable state university. But here's the reality. We are turning away 20 to 30,000 students, fully qualified Californian students, from our doors currently. And so our pitch to the governor and to the legislatures and to business leaders is to help create resources from whatever means possible. Chancellor White calls all those tens of thousands of rejection letters a broken promise. We've set up a social contract, and at this point, we're failing a lot of families and kids. We have, we are failing a lot of families and kids, and that is a really difficult thing. Right now, the chancellor is working to hire a thousand new professors, in part to expand the classes offered at all 23 campuses. The CSU system spends $60 million a year in outreach, especially to low-income schools and minority neighborhoods, to convince those students that college is within their reach. But then it turns out that for many of them, it's not. It's not good for them and their families and their communities. It's not good for California. It's the economy. And so I think we have to take this on. As the governor is pushing for more technology, environmental, and transportation work, that of course requires an educated workforce. And at the current graduation rates, Chancellor White predicts that in 10 years, our state will be short a million workers with university degrees. As graduates do get good jobs, they pay taxes. In fact, the CSU system claims that for every dollar invested by the state, it generates more than $23. As White lobbies for that investment, it's a personal mission. He, too, is a CSU grad. The reason I'm sitting in this seat now is my opportunity to give back to the next generation of folks just like me. Immigrant, low income, no idea what I wanted to do with my future. Go to CSU and find your way at an affordable cost. Now, as I reported earlier this week, Chancellor White also said that tuition hikes are on the table if they don't get the money they need from the state. To be clear, they wouldn't happen this year, but that threat will certainly be part of the budget negotiations in the months ahead.